Romalen, pralanen tai penialen, am de lumea cu romano gives, cam aftu menge, te avensaste bachtale tai zorale. Happy 50th anniversary of the First World Romani Congress, organized in 1971 in Orpington, near London, by a group of brave Roma people, men and women who shared a dream and a vision for all Roma in the world, to act united, to speak with one voice, and tell the world about the Roma as a people, sharing the same roots and the same language, the Romani language. A people that despite its diversity and dialects, or difference of spoken language, or the diverse historical and geographical paths, are united by a great deal of commonality that transcends centuries and borders. We are the Roma people. We are proud of our Indian origin, and common ancestry, and this was not taken from us, neither by empires and kingdoms, nor by tyrannical or dictatorial regimes, or by having been subjected through generations to exclusion, marginalization, scapegoating, persecution, slavery and genocide, and the intent of our full extinction in the Holocaust during the Second World War by the Nazis, their allies and collaborators. Even today, 76 years since the end of the Second World War, the genocide of the Roma and Sinti people is widely unknown and unrecognized officially, and the persecution of Roma during the war is still not considered as an integral part of the Holocaust. We demand justice without further delay and call upon Europe and its states to fully and formally recognize the historic injustices committed against the Roma in particular the slavery and the too long forgotten Roma Holocaust. Such recognition must be accompanied, as recommended by the OSE Action Plan on Roma and Sinti, by public policy measures to include Roma history and culture in educational curriculums and materials, with clear references to the slavery of Roma and the genocide of the Roma and Sinti. In a world of hatred towards us, our struggle was always one of survival, one of being accepted, striving to stand an equal chance for a dignified life. Yet, in exchange, we were pushed to the fringes of society, with no exception whether we lived in rich countries or poorer ones. We were despised for who we are and blamed for our suffering, being labeled as deviants and prone to criminality as inadaptable and unwilling to learn, educate ourselves, or live a civilized life. Yet despite of this rejection of hatred and adversity in a world with too many people wanting us to disappear, we survived. However, survival is not enough. We deserve and demand to be given the right and opportunity to thrive and fulfill our full potential. We want no less, no more, but equality. Yet in order to be able to recuperate from the historical injustices, the appropriate principle is equity. And to achieve that, essential prerequisites must be put in place and fulfilled, such as transitional justice, genuine reconciliation based on truth and formal recognition, which are paramount to healing and mending of these old wounds. Only this will give us all the chance to build together a society that is truly based on principles of respect and mutual understanding, a society of human rights, free of hatred, racism and discrimination. Of utmost importance for any of these efforts to stand a real chance to produce meaningful results, states must put a stop to the widespread and pervasive phenomenon of impunity for racial and hate-motivated crimes against the Roma and Sinti. Unless such crimes are punished promptly and to the full extent of the law for what they really are, the most despicable of the crimes, the policies for Roma inclusion would fail to yield results. The root causes must be addressed with priority, and these are the prejudice, hatred and racism towards the Roma and Sinti. Opre Romalen! Ushten Romalen, Davenbachtale.